Hey folks, let's cover some tools and techniques to help you draw comics. Make sure to jump ahead to the topic that you need help with. Using the print tab in Photoshop, I'd recommend an 8.5 by 11 layout with artboards selected. Once you're in the app, you can use the artboard tool to draw or hit the plus sign to add additional pages. In this segment, I'm importing my planning sketch to help guide the placement of panels. I'd recommend making a folder group for each panel and snapping them to the guidelines. Here's a still image showing the content of each layer group. Shadow and highlight layers get blend modes and lower opacity. And once grouped together, I'd recommend duplicating and renaming folder groups as you adjust panel size to match your sketches. Even though I've created a planning sketch, I still like to change up illustrations, especially if I have extra space or a new idea. I also like to use the text tool to type word balloons. However, I'll drop the opacity and I'm going to hand letter them. Sometimes I'll use the border as a tool to help fit drawings into, even though I occasionally turn them off. So there are a million ways to paint digitally. Whether you use gradients or lasso painting or masking or clip masks or you paint directly, uh, whatever works best for you is the way to go. Uh, personally, I feel the best advice is to paint in a way that gives you control. I like to paint using local colors underneath a line layer. Then I'll go in and put some shadows in uh, by painting black on a multiply layer. And that multiply layer has an opacity between 20 and 70%. Um, highlights going to work in the same way. I'll paint in white on a screen layer that's above my actual artwork, again with a low opacity. Part of the reason I like to go and use different layers with varying opacities is because I can dial back how much uh, the shadow is. I can dial back the intensity of the highlights just by dragging a quick button. So here's a quick reveal. My hope is that you'll develop a process over a span of time where you create hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of drawings. Maybe some of these tools and techniques will help you out. Hey, do me a favor and go give this a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.